Hey everyone. I want to take a few minutes just to walk through an exciting new capability called Trace Configurations that's available with ArcGIS Pro 2.7 release. Your first reaction might be, well, haven't we always had the ability to configure a trace using the trace tool? And the answer to that is yes. But we're going to step beyond that now to provide a COTS method to build and share complex trace configurations that's baked right into ArcGIS Pro and the ArcGIS REST API. So without further ado, let's take a closer look. Tools are provided in ArcGIS Pro 2.7 that allow you to add, delete, export, and import trace configurations for reuse in ArcGIS Pro, as well as for sharing to web and field applications through web maps, beginning with ArcGIS Enterprise 10.9. These tools are found in the new Trace Configuration tool set of the Utility Network Toolbox. When first opened, the Add Trace Configuration tool looks very similar to the trace tool you're already familiar with. However, you'll notice some additional parameters that provide the ability to give the trace configuration a name, provide a description, and include some tags for search. Now let's suppose that I regularly run a trace to identify and examine areas of my network that are currently under construction. I could configure and run this trace each time, specifying the output condition and placing my starting point. Or, I could create a new trace configuration for reuse in ArcGIS Pro. I could then consume this trace in the trace tool by simply placing a starting point and choosing the trace configuration I created from the provided list. Here I'm going to create a new trace configuration that contains this output condition. I'll give it a name, a good description, and add a couple of tags. I want to include both containers, content, and structures in the result, so I'll check each of those options here. And finally, I'll expand output to detail the output condition so that the trace only returns features that have a lifecycle status equal to under construction. I can then open the trace tool, select the use trace configuration option, and select the trace configuration I just created, and use this along with the starting point of place without having to perform any additional configuration. So this is a rather basic example, but consider the benefit if your trace utilizes multiple traversability or filter barriers, or other configuration options which need to be configured each time a trace is run. Here, we're able to reduce unnecessary repetition when configuring traces, which not only saves time, but leaves less room for error. This benefit is compounded when we shift our focus to the field. Field operations can now leverage a trace configuration that has been published in a web map, preventing the need for the team in the field to have a complete understanding of the trace framework or even the trace configuration details. Simply by understanding the question being asked and the trace configuration that can help them get the answer, they can place a starting point and run the trace to get the trace results. Trace configurations in your utility network can be viewed from within the Layer Properties dialog. These are located in their own section of the Network Properties tab. From here I have a read-only view into the various trace configurations that exist in the network, who created them, and when. In situations where I create a trace configuration in error, or no longer need a trace configuration, this can be removed from the network using the Delete Trace Configuration tool. I want to take a moment to note that the connected portal account is set as the creator of the trace configuration during the add process. And while any portal user can view and work with all trace configurations in the network, only the portal utility network owner or another user in the administrator role can alter or delete trace configurations created by others. I'm currently connected as the portal utility network owner, so I can delete any trace configuration in the network. With that said, I'm just going to remove this one that I created earlier in error during configuration for this demo. After deleting that, if I were to go back into the Trace Configuration section of the Network Properties tab, I can see that the trace configuration has been removed. When performing testing or migrating from a staging environment into production, you may want to share trace configurations between utility networks. This can be accomplished using both the Export and Import Trace Configurations tools. Export Trace Configurations enables you to export one or more trace configurations from a utility network to a JSON file. This file can then be imported into another utility network using the Import Trace Configurations tool. This prevents the need for duplication of work across multiple utility networks. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, stored trace configurations provide a method for you to publish traces for consumption in web and field apps. To publish a trace configuration, you first need to open the Sharing tab on the Network Options dialog. 
Here, trace configurations can be activated to be included in the service definition of a web map. When these web maps are shared and consumed, this provides the ability to perform pre-configured utility network traces in a map service. With each release, our goal is the improvement of the tracing experience. We hope you find the trace configurations to be as useful in addition to your workflows as we do. Thanks. Thank you.